गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी ब्रायफाइट प्लांट ग्रो इन टू वेल डिफाइंड हैबिटेट दे दीज आर द वॉटर एंड द लैंड द प्लांट विच ग्रो इन वॉटर आर कॉल एक्वेटिक एंड द अदर टेरेस्ट्रियल द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एक्वेटिक प्लांट्स आर द एलगी एंड द लैंड डिवेलर्स द सीड प्लांट द स्पर्मेटो फाइट्स बिटवीन दिस टू एक्सट्रीम हैबिटेट्स is a transitional zone it is represented by the swamp and the area where water and land meet it may well be called the amphibious zone inhibiting the amphibious zone are the mosses liverwort and hornwort which collectively constitute a group of non vascular land plant called the bryophyte the later are simple thallus like plant which suggests the stage through which the green algae may have evolved to become a terrestrial most of the bryophyte are land dwellers which inhabit damp shaded and humid localities a few of them however live in or float in water the aquatic habit of course has been acquired by these plant secondarily when the water dries up they grow equally well on the dry mud some of the course some of course can withstand long period of drought during the dry period they become almost brittle in texture with the onset of rainy season the um, they they apparently dried brittle thalai turn green and become active to carry out the normal life function even these apparently xerophytic species grow actively only during the wet weather bryophyte thus include the archegoniate a tricky tracheate simple cryptogams in which zygote divide by mitosis and form embryo embryo the sporophytic phase depends upon the gametophyte for nutrition and support these are the amphibians of the plant kingdom evidence supports the view that the that these early land plant descended from the algal like ancestor which were probably green adaptation to the land environment or sub aerial life involves the development of certain feature that were not possessed by these aquatic ancestors these are the development of the organ for the attachment and absorption of water unlike the algae the bryophyte which grow on land are not bathed in water they must absorb it from the soil and be attached to the it for support <clears throat> for this purpose the bryophyte develop special hair like structure called rhizoids like root hair the rhizoid function as absorbing and attaching organ protection against desiccation the thick compact multicellular thallus like plant cover body plant body covered with an epidermis is protected to a certain extent against the drying effect of air of the numerous cell constituting it only the epidermal cell which form only a small percentage of its total surface are directly exposed to the dry air further even the free surface of the epidermal cell is in some species of liverworts is coated with waxy substance like cutin which is waterproof and thus reduce the rate of water loss moreover total surface area of a compact body is reduced in proportion to its volume absorption of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere for photosynthesis in many liverworts there are numerous pores on the upper surface of the thallus these are called air pores they facilitate exchange of gases between the atmospheric air and the interior of the thallus protection of the reproductive cells 
for drying and mechanical injuries the sex organ in the bryophyte are multicellular and jacketed the jacket of the sterile cell around the sperm and the egg is an adaptation to a life on land it protects the sex organ cells against the drying effect of air the fertilized egg is retained within the archegonia here it obtain food and water from the parent plant and is protected from drying as it develop into an embryo the, this adaptation is essentially essential for the survival of the land plant it ensure nourishing of the young embryo and its protection against the mechanical injury the thick wall wind disseminated spores and the primitive vascular system in the form of the conducting stem strands are the other adaptation of the land plant the bryophyte however cannot carry on their reproductive activity without sufficient moisture presence of water is necessary without its sex organ do not reach maturity and do not dehisce water is essential for the transfer of sperm to the archegonia the retention of swimming sperm is an algal character the bryophyte thus rely on water for the act of fertilization beside they have inefficient absorbing organ in the form of rhizoid consequently they are unable to grow during dry period they require sufficient moisture both for reproduction and successful vegetative growth this explain why the bryophyte usually inhabit moist sedis situation or grow in place where water is abundant at least at some reason since the bryophytes usually grow in a amphibious situation and cannot complete their life cycle without external water thus they are very appropriately be called as amphibious amphibians of the plant world thank you students